Well, that's going to throw a bit of a wrench in Prince Bowen's mind. Trailer Park Trash, the new director of operations. Something's got to be done about that. The following contest is scheduled for one ball. Introducing first from Buffalo, New York. Weighing in tonight at 215 pounds. Jamin. Olivencia. Covered as if Olivencia needed any more motivation. The leader of the dog pound assaulted at the beginning of the show by Switchblade. It was just... Again, my words escaped me. It was Rudy Switchblade laying out Jamin Olivencia with the heavyweight title belt. And so the next chapter in their very storied and long rivalry is unfolding right in front of our very face. But my mind is really on Brittany, guys. Well, I do know that Brittany is in a secured area. She's going to be uh, taken care of by security until Switchblade has left the property. Right now, we're going to. He's a jerk! That's what I said. Who puts that their hands on women? Who puts their hands on women? That's the champion you are? That's the man you are? That's your character? Yeah, Muscagi's over here saying this is, what, this is all we care about. We don't care who we have to put our hands on. It's, it's all about Orange, the heavyweight from title. Orange County, California. Accompanied to the ring by Christian Muscagi. He is the current. OBW heavyweight champion, Rudy Switchblade. I, I, I couldn't hear clearly earlier. They said Raul stole somebody's car. Whose car did he steal? I think it was your son's. We need to focus on the match in the ring right here. Stinking Mexican. Right now, Jamin Olivencia is just flat peppering Rudy Switchblade, and understandably so. The Pearl Harbor attack, the Pearl Harbor attack from Rudy Switchblade earlier with the, the heavyweight title belt across the back of Olivencia's head. And really what he showed us at the top of the show is if anybody needed a reminder is that Rudy will sink to any depth to retain his title. He attempted not just to beat uh, Mike Mondo, but to end his career at the Saturday Night Special by hanging him. And if memory serves me right, it was the October Saturday Night Special when Rudy did something very similar in an I Quit match to Jamin Olivencia. Well, it's called oh. eliminating the competition. Oh, yeah, baby! Now, Rudy Switchblade over in front of the television desk said to Miskagny, go get the belt, let's go, and Jamin Olivencia wasn't letting that happen. Goes out there and what a chop. It may have caused been across the back, but boy, it sounded like someone shot a 22 off here in Davis Arena. You got to remember that these guys have been fighting for months, months. It's all started over the television title. And really, the fight over the television title goes back to 2008, Kenny. It's been going on for a long time, and I don't know that anything has been decided other than that Switchblade has that title now, and maybe Switchblade needs to suck it up, or not Switchblade, but is uh, Olivencia needs to suck it up and go away. Let's don't forget that Olivencia had suffered a concussion what we a few months back, what we thought was going to be a career-ending concussion. Switchblade knows this. Switchblade takes the title and whatever, you know, any place else on the body would not have been as effective as the what it was Here's to, the cover. to Rudy Switchblade's head, to his brain, possibly trying to bring back that concussed situation to Jamin Olivesi. Rudy Switchblade will exhaust all options. If you didn't see it at the Saturday Night Special, then you saw it at the top of our show tonight. I'd still, I'd still just love to find out what this deal is with him and, and Miss Devereaux. Hold on, Here's one. Cover. I don't know what, because I was, was in the ring, there was no deal. I was no, in there trying to have a anything. conversation. I was trying to ask Rudy about why he was doing, he has done the things that he has done. And I'm looking in his eyes, it's like I'm talking to a different person. And Brittany was just sitting over here next to Ron Head, both of our announcers. She wasn't doing anything, she wasn't making Google eyes, she wasn't saying anything, she wasn't rolling her eyes up like whatever. Switch None blade, of that, she was just sitting there. She was. Switchblade saw something. You don't think he'd go after for absolutely no reason, do you? Well, you say, you know, he saw something through his eyes, but Lord knows what's going on in his head. Lord knows what he saw. I mean, he was looking around Delbert to see what was going on. He was looking. Something was up. 
It was I, again. He was looking through me. I mean, in his in the ring, his eyes. It was almost like a a, a, a daze. He, he was not in the reality that everybody else was in. Cover. Something Watch is, the far leg. One, two. A switch has knocked off in Rudy Switchblade's mind. And keep in mind, this is a non-title situation. He would not give. He would not give Jamin Olivenci an opportunity. Got to earn those. Got to earn title shots. Because you got to remember, in Rudy's mind, he is forever the victim. He's got wake-up call on the back of his trunks. Oh. It's a mission maneuver here. He can put him out. Olivenci with what looks like almost a, a guillotine choke. A oh, flipper for him, another a second, a third one from Olivencia. As a... Switchblade was in that full guard position. Olivencia follows him over into the corner right now. The momentum is on Olivencia's side, but this match has gone back and forth. Oh, and again, case in point. Switchblade out of the way and puts the boot to the forehead of Olivencia again, snapping that neck, snapping that, that brain inside the skull. Looks like, looks like Switchblade wanting to go high risk here. Oh, yeah, wow. That didn't pan out. They call it high risk for a reason. High octane, 200%. You never know when Jamin Olivencia is going to snap back. What an, what an athletic maneuver from Olivencia. Oh, man, what a running through before. Listen, we've got to take another break. We'll take it right now. The cameras will continue to roll. We are at Davis Arena, 4400 Shepherdsville Road, Louisville, Kentucky, where we take the television show each and every Wednesday night while we were gone. It's been all Jamin Olivenzi. We had a near fall as well, but right now, Switchblade has mounted a bit of a, a momentum on his side and just put Olivenzi out here on, in the security area. Let's catch you up how we got here. At the top of the show, it is Rudy Switchblade who came out and and tried to put his hands on Brittany Devere, really showing that he has no bounds in his depravity. And then he laid out Jamin Olivencia with the heavyweight title. A flipper for him, another one after another one. I think you can tell right from the top here that these two could give less than a tinker oh, about, about wrestling. My, these two are trying to kill each other. My goodness, Switchblade just catapulted that's, that's all a steel beam. The, you yeah, got that right. That is a steel beam. Building up. And that was a sickening thud. The sound of Jamin Olivencia's head meeting that steel beam. Guys, he could be seriously I hurt there's here. There's only four of those in his whole building of that many. And you it, it supports this building. So it goes back to that concussion. The concussion. I mean, you're reading my mind. You talked about it earlier. Out for several months with a concussion. You alluded to it at the top of the match. So it's always a concern, always in the back of your mind. Well, for us here at the announcer's table, certainly for, for Jamin Olivenci and his matches, and hitting your head on that steel beam certainly could not help things. Could not help anything. Oh, and look at this. Oh, Rudy's taking a little break. A little refreshment. Christian went and got him a little water. <laughs> Jamin's going to meet the count. Referee was up to nine there. Well, that's, that's, that's customer service right there with Muscagney brings to the table with Switchblade. All of this. Getting you a mean, drink during the match. Oh, oh look at this. Look at look this. Out, oh, look, look out. All of this. Talk about the ability to come out of the fall because Jamin All of this was flat there. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Two. Maybe Switchblade got too relaxed there for a minute. Come on, do it, Jamin. But all of this is getting back in the ring. My word, Irish whip reverse. Oh, Olivencia catches it midair. You talk about athletic, athletic ability. The leader of the dog pound flat knows how to get it going. My goodness gracious. Here's a cover, here's a cover two, that's it. The Tasmanian devil's going crazy. He gets that burst of energy keep and in, cannot stop him. Keep in mind, this is a non-title match, but this doesn't matter. To Olivencia, this is about just getting his hands on Switchblade. This is about taking it to him, especially after what he did to, to uh, Brittany Devereux at the beginning of our show. And the fight between these two is bigger, so much bigger than titles. What started this competition has grown into contempt over the last several months. Remember, the last time Burns thought it was going to be the frog splash from the champion there, the last time that Jamin and Rudy met, Jamin was successful in an I quit match, guys. What's happening here? Well, the Skagney was doing something with one of the one of the covers. I'm not sure what. I caught well, it out of the corner of my eye. He's got his hand on it, bracing himself up. 
Muskegney has a bit of a bad back, you know. He has to have that to support Muskegney. his back. And Muskegney is, oh, he's moved off. He's I moved off. Oh, look at out. that. Oh, Muskegney <laughs> removes that, exposes that steel ring that holds the cable. That is the ring rope. Yeah, I guess that could And we happened. talked about how explosive that Jamin Olivencia is. He goes 200% all the time, and he came in a full head of steam right into the exposed turnbuckle. Oh, ho, ho, ho. You seeing this? Am I seeing this right? Chris Sharp is telling Muskegney he's out of here. And Good. I'm seeing that right. DDT! That's his finisher. That's patented. One, two, three. It would have been in Muskegney again, earning his money. Distracting the referee. Turn around, Chris Sharp. Chris is he, the, he, he passed oh. the belt into the ring. Oh, and again, and again, look at this, Muskegney. Again, look at the distraction that Muscagney is causing. Why is he trying to get physical with Muscagney? What the hell's the matter with him? Right in front of the referee's face? He didn't care. He, I, I'm telling you right now, he didn't mind Open getting this qualified. Jamin Olivencia. Muscagney it, wasn't trying to get physical with Jamin. He was trying to create a distraction for Rudy. He's trying to give Rudy a way out of here. And if you ask me again, the made man has made his money. What's the point of getting disqualified in a, in a non-championship match? He doesn't have to suffer the continued abuse. He doesn't have to take the chance that Olavisio may, number one, make him look bad, number two, come in qualification for a heavyweight title match, and number three, hurt him. That's Muscagney's meal ticket. Muscagney doesn't want to see his meal ticket. Hold on, hold on. Oh, oh. Oh, and out here in front of the television desk flies Jamin Olavencia. As Muscagney blocks Chris Sharp. Hold on, what, what's, he, what's he doing? He's, he's pulling the, the map back. That, that explo exposes the concrete. And I what, don't know what he's doing. To that, what he showed us at the end is that he is unpredictable. You never know what Rudy Switchblade oh, is going to no. do. He has oh. no character, has no oh. heart. There is nothing that he will not do. Oh, you can see the writing on this wall. I see the road. Oh, no. But pile driver? Pile driver? Not on the pile, pile oh, driver? God. Are you kidding me? No, 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 no. Oh. Are you kidding me? Baby. Oh, my pile word. Driver. On a metal chair, on a concrete Look at the floor. eyes. Look. That's the face I saw in the and ring at the top set, of the show, Dean. Look at the eyes. Man, Muscagney's got him a madman. The depths. The depths that Rudy Switchblade has gone to in his wrestling career. The I'll depths that Muscagney will allow his people to go to for him to be the leader. For him to have, he's over here screaming at us. For him to have the man in his, it's about in Rudy. His team. Dean, oh God! I'm sorry. I just, oh, I, I just think oh. it's about Rudy. I think it's about that title. And what he showed us tonight is that he doesn't care. He will do whatever it takes. Muscagney oh, said, "How dare he put his hands on me?" This is all about him touching Muscagney. Apparently. Here's the real question, though. You talked about that concussion, Dean. Oh Lord. I haven't seen Jamin move. We're call the call. We are calling for help. Uh, anyone in the back, please. We need some assistance out here. Uh, Jamin Olivencia, not only, not only first, the title across the back of the head at the beginning of the show. He recovers from that. He gets catapulted into the solid steel post out of here. He recovers from that. But now, the maneuver that was banned in most of professional wrestling, the pile driver, Going on Jamin Olavencia. Well, chair uh, back in the 50s. What? Pile driver was done away with. And you hear the silence. You hear the silence of Davis Arena. I mean, how the much can a guy take? Some say the pile driver might have killed Andy Kaufman. That does not look good. We are we are getting the. Uh, I, I see his eyes. Oh, I, I did see his left hand move. His, his head is moving. He's, uh, oh, he might be, oh my God. Stabilize his neck, stabilize his neck. I hope he's not having he's on the edge eyes. of some he's type a of, a, of a seizure. He's a mess. What? What we may be seeing, ladies and gentlemen, what we may be seeing is the end of a wrestling career. 
we can only pray we can only pray